Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be busting open a few packs of M13, Core Set 2013. Um, it's not that old of a set. Well, actually, it's 20. We just re Holy cats, that's getting up. Wow, I feel old now. Anyways, um, yeah, we're going to crack some of these. Uh, we have technically a fat pack worth. But not an actual fat pack. So, anyways, we are going to go ahead and, uh, without further ado, we're just going to start busting these open. Now, per usual, whenever we crack open um, not so much newer sets, like when a first, set first comes out, we'll do a few packs. But any older sets, we're going to take the very first pack. Well, yeah, that's a lie. Um, the first two packs out of any box um, actually go into a long box um, that I saved for my son, Wesley. Uh, every set that comes out, he gets two packs put away from him in there. Um, he's sitting somewhere around 40 some packs of cards, I think. Um, but anyways, he got the first two packs out of the box. But, uh, this first pack that we are opening here is going to be going into our Patreon build a pack box. Now, if you don't know what our Patreon build a pack box is, in the description of this video and pretty much every video we have, uh, we have a link to our Patreon page. Um, our Patreon build a pack box, essentially we have a box of cards that uh, we pull and build you a pack. It starts off with a random foil basic lands, you're guaranteed that, and then you get uh, a random card that's signed by myself. You can have the foil basic signed if you want that too. And there are full art foils in there as well. And then you get two rares, uh, another foil, an uncommon or common, worth at least a buck or more. And then you get ten random uh, common or uncommon cards. And in that selection of the ten uncommon and common cards, we do have seated in there, uh, you where you get an extra foil, extra rare, extra pack, or uh, whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's it really is... Uh, I really think it's worth it, uh, but uh, yeah, anything that goes into that Patreon Build-A-Pack box, you can actually pull this stuff out. So essentially anything of value that we pull out of this pack right here is going to go into that box. So let's see where we're at. We got Fog, Silver Coat Lion, Blood Hunter Bat, Essence Drain, Zombie Goliath. You know, I've always loved the art on this here, the Timberwolf pack. I just love it. I got a thing for wolves, so we got Canyon Minotaur, Giant Scorpion, Windrake, uh, a Johnny Sunstriker, and now we are to the uncommons. We've got ourselves a Furnace Whelp, a Flint Hoof Boar, a Tormod's Crypt. Um, I, I don't think this is up there. We'll double check. We're going to have the price down the corner anyways, but as we record this, I'm not entirely sure. But our rare is... An Elvish Arch Druid. Okay, so that is, uh, that's a few bucks. Last time I checked, it's a few bucks. So we'll double check just to make sure. And as long as it's actually worth, oh, man. Okay, yeah, as long as it's actually worth something, um, it'll go ahead and, uh, actually all of these will make it into the Build-A-Pack box. These will go into the, actually all three of these will probably go into the common section. And then the Elvish Arch Druid. I'm pretty sure it's worth something. If it's not worth something, it's, it's not at least worth a buck, it's not going in there. So, all right. Well, that'll go off to the side. I just, this right here is one of my favorite land arts. John Avon, you know what you're doing. You got this stuff down because that is, that is such, there's a reason this art has been used more than once. So, anywho, all right. We'll put those off to the side. Now let's start cracking open the actual, or, well, I mean, they're all actual packs, but the packs that we're just opening for the channel. Um, and just a little FYI, you also, with all of the Patreon tiers, you get a discount in our TCG store. And the vast majority of stuff that we open here ends up on that TCG store to help uh, pay for all the degenerate stuff we do here. So, uh, yeah, and every tier comes with its own discount. The higher the tier, the higher the discount you get at the store. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to kind of just peruse through these because I don't think there's anything that's really worth anything. Krenko's Command, is that still? I don't think so. Uh, Evolving Wilds. All right, we got a Mind Claw Shaman. We got a Reign of Blades. That one's pretty good. 
we get a fungal sprouting and our rare it whoa off the bat we get ourselves a mythic uh jace memory of death he's now he's not the great jace but it's still a planeswalker so i'm gonna go ahead and take it and then we got the rules insert in a land i actually i missed the rule inserts because i use the i use them for uh proxy cards and oh, whoops i'm forgetting to do stuff here um i use them for proxies i use them for separating cards in my boxes i use them for a lot of different stuff so i miss having that but anyway i gotta start talking a little bit less and start opening packs because we don't want this to be a super long video for only nine packs all right uh anything good just saw you again arbor elf okay we got roaring primadox we got a torch fiend we got a rise from the grave and we got ourselves a trading post i don't remember if this is anything good but i think we do we get a foil we get a foil all right what do we get what do we get that's that's not a foil Oh, there, okay, it's, it's at the very back. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, where'd it go? Uh, we got a Yeva's Force Mage as a foil. All right. Good deal. Trading post, I think that was... I know at one point in time, I, I'm pretty sure it was something. Tell you what, though, they sealed these packs a lot better back then. <laughs> all right. Once again, skip through all this stuff. Index... I don't remember. I don't think so. Turn to slag. Love that card. All right. We got ourselves a Veilborn Ghoul. Ring of Zar Zathrid. No idea if I'm pronouncing that right. Fogbank. And we got ourselves a Boundless Realms as... Uh, oh, we got another rare. Holy cats. All right. We got, oh, we got a Rocks Faith Mender. Not exactly the foil we want uh, to be our rare, but hey, we'll go ahead and take it. It is a foil rare. Well, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I like opening up this old stuff. I really do. Especially the sets I played in, and I did play during this one. All right, we got a Ring of Thune. Uh, Garrix, Pack Leader. Love that card. Clock of Omens. All right. And then we got ourselves a Staff of Nin. Good stuff. No rares behind it. Okay, or not, no foils. All right. We did get the Goblin Token. Those things were kind of cool. Uh, I believe that's my probably second or third favorite art. Uh, Scars of Mirrodin. Yeah, by far my favorite Goblin Tokens. Aside from the... Uh, the unset ones uh, that really doesn't count though because those are in a league of their own Ooh, get a ding right out of the pack you know i probably did that opening it though so that is my bad did get an unsummon a race another turn to slag all right we got a roaring primadox blood reckoning cleaver riot and we got a faith's reward not bad. All right. Got a few packs left. Three packs, I think. Let's see here. All right. We got a Cro Chrono Tom. I am slaughtering that. Cro no Matan. Chronoma Chronomaton. There we go. <laughs> we got a ring of colonia we got ourselves a fungal sprouting and we got a wits end you know for some reason there was a wits end deck wasn't there i think maybe possibly i don't know i don't know so we're gonna try that that's right these old packs they separate a lot easier in the middle i knew there was something about it Whew. All right. Um, Farseek. I don't know if that's still worth anything. I don't think it is. I could be wrong. All right. Ooh, Switcheroo. This one just got brought back. Uh, Flames of the Firebrand. 
Reliquary Tower, you just got brought back too. Holy cats. This is M19, we're opening up here. And our rare is <laughs> Glacial Fortress. You just got brought back too. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a pack of M19 that we just opened. Oh. Uh... Oh, I forgot. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can do something to kind of knock this one out of the park. All right, we got an ooh, Angelic Benediction, Gem of Becoming, Rewind, and we got ourselves a Silk Lash Spider. All right, well... That's what we got. Uh, we, we started off strong. We, uh, we got that uh, Jace off the bat. And then uh, Trading Post. I honestly don't remember. I mean, I know an ADH, that's kind of a bigger thing. So if it was full, that'd be good. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the rest of these. Um, this is still a few bucks, Glacial Fortresses. And then we did get uh, a foil... Uh, Yeva's Force Mage, and then we got the Foil Rocks Faith Mender, so that's kind of cool. Foil rares are always nice. Well, that about wraps it up for this. If you like what you saw here today, do me a huge favor. Click that like button, hit subscribe, be sure to hit that bell notification button so you can tell we have new videos coming out, and then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, ChuckwagonMTG. Now, if you'd do me one last favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.